let's try a login. So they'll do a guess one with password one. They push login. Now we see the response, okay? First of all, based on this simple browser tool, we can see that the front end is making a request, a post request to HTTP localhost 3000 API login. Remember, the attacker does not know where the backend system is. The attacker does not know what are the API routes that are available. So by simply interacting with the front end and opening up the network tab, we can see that information. Not only that, we can even see the exact payload that was parsed from the front end to send to the back end. So here we see there was a post request sent to localhost 3000 API login containing the body of this JSON object. So now that we have this information, we could even come into a terminal and do a curl. Let's go ahead and recreate that exact same request on our terminal. So we're going to do a curl, which is going to be a post request containing a header of content type of application JSON, just like we saw in the headers, right, of our initial post request, containing some data of a JSON object of username. And this would be guest number two, right? And a password of password two, closing that up, being sent to the location of our backend API, HTTP localhost 3000 API login. And there you can see the exact same message was being sent. Success, false message, invalid credentials.